I'd like to talk about the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple with you. And uh, because those are two terms that will uh, frequently uh, return in all sorts of questions. Yeah? Um, and as you can see, the highest common factor, lowest common multiple, it's, it's quite um, uh, some big words. So we usually talk about the HCN, the highest common factor, and the LCM, the lowest common multiple. Okay, so you rarely see it all written out. We talk about the HEF LCM, highest common factor and the lowest common multiple. Now, what does that mean? Well, if we look at the highest common factor, for instance, they give us two numbers, let's say the numbers uh, 6 and 8. What is the highest common factor? So, common means something they have in common and something they both have and factor, yeah, you should know what factors are. Yeah, and what is the highest one they have in common? So which factor do they both have and then the highest one of them? Well, okay, well let's first find out what are the factors of six and what are the factors of eight. Yeah, so I'm making my little factor tree in a previous question. You could have seen uh, why I call it a factor tree. Um, I never draw the tree, but I call it still a factor tree. Anyway, six, I write it in factor pairs and I never forget one. So one and six, and two and three, and then three and two again, I already got those. So six has four factors, one, two, three, and six. Let's have a look for eight, uh, one and eight, two and four, three and nothing, and then four and two again, I already got those. So also eight has got four factors, one, two, four, and eight. Now what is the highest common factor? Well, they both have one in common, they both have one as a factor, but is that the highest one? No. As you already have noticed, what is the highest common factor? The two. So the highest common factor for six and eight is two. Now, when is that important? Well, in all sorts of situations, but for instance, they give you the fraction six over eight you have to simplify that. You have to simplify a fraction always when it's your final answer. And simplifying means taking out the highest common factor, taking out the HCF. That's what simplifying fractions means. Now what is the highest common factor? Yeah, so 6 is 3 times 2 and 8 is 4 times 2. And so you should be able to realize that 6 over 8 you should simplify to 3 over 4 by taking that highest common factor, the 2, out. All right. Now what about the lowest common multiple, the LCM? So now we're talking about the lowest, yeah, common, again, the one they share, multiple. And in a previous video, um, I spoke about multiples, and it's like a timetables. Let's look at 6 and 8. So 6, what is the timetable of 6? Yeah, so 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, yeah, 48, 54, and 60. Yeah, I wrote down the first uh, 10 multiples of 6. Let's do the same for 8. So if I make a little line there in between. Okay, let's write down the multiples of 8. Yeah, you can already start. That's 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, and 80. Yeah, the first 10 multiples of 8. Now, what is the LCM, the lowest common multiple? So which multiples do they both have? Now, let's have a look. Well, they both have 48. They have that one in common. But is that the lowest one they have in common? No, because they indeed have 24 in common as well. Is that the lowest one? Yes, it is. So the lowest common multiple for 6 and 8 is 24. Let's write that down here, 24. And again, when are you going to use that? For instance, when you're adding and subtracting fractions, let me make a different paper. Yeah, and for instance, you have... 3 over 6 um, plus 
uh, 5 over 8, I know 3 over 6 is a half, but okay, just for this example, 3 over 6 plus 5 over 8, and yeah, then you have to change that denominator huh, in order to be able to add a fraction, and then you want to do that using the lowest common multiple, yeah, and the lowest common multiple is 24, as we have just seen, um, we multiply this one then by 4, yeah, both of them, huh, numerator and denominator, because we are manipulating it, we're not changing anything, this is exactly the same. And we multiply this one by 3, numerator and denominator. And then I can easily say, so 12 plus 15 is 27 over 24, yeah? which is a top heavy fraction by the way, so let's turn that into a mixed number. Yeah? Go a little bit too deep now into the into the material, but anyway, when do we use the lowest common multiple? For instance, when we're adding or subtracting fractions. Okay, highest common factor. Which factor do they have? Both have and they have in common, and then the highest one. Okay, lowest common multiple. We're talking about multiples. Which do they both have? But then the lowest one. Okay, in the next video, I'm going to give you a few more examples, but this is the theory behind it. All the best.